Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I want to wish all of you guys a very happy beginning of the month. Um, and I hope you guys are as excited as I am as we're quickly approaching Hollow's Eve. Yes, I'm so excited and as you guys can see we are already in the spirits. <laughs> All right, my lovelies, let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of September 2021. Now, Capricorn, we're starting off with the Lover's card here. King of Wands. Two of Swords. The Fool card. Eight of Swords. King of Swords. Interesting. Three of Swords. Ten of Cups, the Magician, wow, and the Five of Swords, okay, interesting. All right, Capricorn. So right at the center, we have the King of Swords. This could represent a, um, a person that is that of the element of air, which is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Doesn't have to be their sun sign, could be their moon sign. Um, and right at the center, as you guys can see here, the king is looking towards the eight of swords with the lover's card. So I feel very strongly for some of you guys, um, you may have dealt with a air energy in the past, um, that perhaps the relationship or connection didn't progress the way you would have hoped it did at some point. Now, they keep telling me this is to do with a person from your past, okay? Keep that in mind. Um, now, what they're showing me here is there's almost like remorse or there is a feeling of wanting to revisit the past. Uh, this individual is heavily, heavily thinking of you, Capricorn. Um, and it's like they're tossing and turning. They can't shake you out of their, they can't shake you out of their mind. You're weighing very heavy on their mind, Capricorn. And I feel that it's talking very strongly about regret, about, uh, it's almost like they're seeing you or viewing you as the one that got away, the one that they wish they could have held on to tighter. They wish they could have done right by you that type of energy. For some of you guys, you could have been dealing with a situation where this person was dealing with a third party. Perhaps they um, stepped out of the relationship, they cheated on you, or uh, the relationship came to an end because they were dealing with someone else. Now, if we can see up here, we have the lover's card with the king of wands, two of swords, and the full card. So I feel that you guys are going into this cycle, Capricorn, where there is a lot of uh, possibilities when we're talking about relationships. I see a specific individual that is that of a fire energy, could be an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo um, energy that is really looking towards you and they're looking towards you in almost in a, they want to embrace a new beginning. For some of you guys, this could have been a situation where things didn't really take off and they're hoping to get a new start or a new beginning with you. However, with the Two of Swords, there's a bit of hesitation here. And it could be because they're feeling like, um, you know, will Capricorn still be interested or has Capricorn moved on? That type of energy. Now, if you are currently dealing with a fire energy and it almost feels like you guys are not fully in sync right now or even like feeling a bit like things are not progressing the way you would want them to. Uh, you have to keep in mind that we're dealing with a lot of a lot of energy from the past. So I want to say the first week and a half of September, you guys are going to be almost like revisiting the past, people from your past coming back around or you hearing from people from your past. Uh, for others of you, it could be like actively having lucid dreams about people that you've been with in the past that type of energy and i feel that it's almost like a it's residue energy that it's residue energy that the person the person from your past is still holding on to so 
It could be that they themselves are dealing with, again, like I said, regret, remorse, uh, feeling like they want to come back into your life, but they're not sure if you're interested in them or if you would even, you know, consider that. Um, however, I feel that if, as an example, for some of you guys, if out of nowhere, uh, people from your past, your ex, whatever, is coming into your mind or you're thinking of them or you're having dreams, understand that it's not your energy. I feel very strongly that this is their energy. And it could be that you're just picking up on that on a subconscious level. So don't start getting confused, Capricorn. Don't start feeling like, oh my God, maybe it's destiny or oh my God, maybe it's because we're meant to be or whatever that situation is. No, it is not. You're just perceiving or picking up on their energy on a subconscious level because they're constantly thinking of you. It's their regret and their karma to deal with. I hope that makes sense. Now, if you are dealing with the fire energy, like I said, I feel that there could have been um, a bit of, you know, unresolved issues that they were dealing with in the past. And that could have been the reason also while why you guys could have gotten to a point of not really being able to push forward in the relationship or connection. But I feel that for the month of September, that's definitely going to be changing. There's going to be almost like this uh, awakening within them. Or this acknowledgement of, you know, I'm ready to move on from the past. It could be that they themselves were holding on to someone from the past that hurt them. Or someone that really pushed those buttons where they kind of confused um, love with lust. And I feel that there is almost like this, this moment of clarity where they realize that it's you the one that they want. Or they realize that it's you the one that made more sense in their life or the one that they hoped they would find they found you and they messed up so there's a lot of regret that i'm sensing here um a lot of i'm not reaching out because of pride i'm scared that capricorn's going to re reject me i'm scared that capricorn is going to judge me whatever the situation is however I want to say into the sec, uh, sorry, into the third to fourth week of September, there's definitely going to be some type of communication that happens, something that opens up. Now, if you're currently in a relationship, and again, there's been a feeling of like not being on the same page or um, not being able to fully communicate openly without feeling like you're being judged, that's definitely going to be passing. And like I said, third to fourth week of September things start to go back to normal. You're starting to open up and communicate much better with more uh, with more compassion towards one another. But I do want to, uh, again, make the message very clear. If you should feel like uh, the person from the past comes out back around and tries to reconnect, don't see it as a sign that it must be. Uh, take it as a they are, you know, having the need to have or find some type of closure. Uh, I feel that that opportunity passed them by already. I think they waited too long. And what they're telling you here is time to keep move, uh, keep it moving, Capricorn. Uh, try the best you can not to stumble on the same rock, if that makes sense. All right, my lovelies, I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.